When you've been doing martial arts for 25 years, you pick up some baggage. <laughs> baggage is human nature. Where do we get our baggage? There's a lot of psychologists here to probably answer that for you. When you have a lot of baggage, it makes it hard to move quick. It makes it hard to jump. It makes it hard to climb the ladder. It makes it hard to take advantage of opportunities because you're weighed down with all this baggage. Our goal is to help you free yourself of this baggage. What is baggage? In the context of what we're discussing today, as martial arts professionals, baggage represents the preconceived ideas we have about how martial arts should be taught and how martial arts should be presented. It's what I call the shoulds. Shoulds are very dangerous. Rational psychologists will tell you that should is one of the most negative words you can use. How do we use should in this context? Martial arts should be taught this way. I was taught that way, and god dang it, you should do it the way that I was taught it. That's irrational, because I have some news for you. The world does not revolve around your shoulds. Don't should all over yourself. <laughs> it holds you back. It creates.